Hi, here's Marcus from Shining 3D. Today we are going to go through the update notes of DentalScan V304X. The update notes is mainly divided into these seven points and we will go through them one by one. The first one is four point mode. The user can choose the four point mode function when sitting the abutment. Instead of choosing points one by one, the four point mode enables users to choose four points in opposite directions to seal the abutment. The software will automatically form a circle based on these four points. Here is a short video for reference. After enabling these four point mode function, we can choose four points in opposite directions and the software will automatically form a circle around the hole. And that's how it's done. The second update is import single scan wax up file into ExoCAD. In previous version, after finishing the five steps of the workflow that involves the wax up, the software will generate four STL files. Within these four STL files, the upper jaw and upper jaw wax up will be imported into ExoCAD automatically when users start ExoCAD from dental scan. Now we support importing the single waxup file into ExoCAD. It is convenient for those who need this single waxup file for design in ExoCAD. The third update is HD scanning for antagonist models. We can keep the data volume of the chosen area on antagonist jaws. When users scan the antagonist jaw, they can click choose detailed area function and select the area that needs to maintain a high mesh density but please make sure the high quality function is enabled before scanning the antagonist jaw. And here is a short video for better demonstration. As you can see here, high quality function is enabled and now we start to scan the antagonist jaws. When the scan is done, we can choose this choose detailed area function and single click our mouse and hold to choose the area where we want to maintain the data volume. And the area is chosen. After the post processing, this area will maintain the data volume we scanned. And we are going back to the folder to check the file created by this function. As you can see here, here is the area we just chose and the data volume in this area is maintained. And the fourth upgrade is wax up and pre up occlusion. This allows users to choose which model with or without wax up is involved in occlusion alignment in workflow settings. And the user can align not only the occlusion of the jaw without the wax up, but also with the wax up. As you can see, here is the workflow setting and we can ena enable these wax up and pre-op occlusion function. After enabling this function, we can use the upper jaw model with wax up for occlusion alignment. Here is a comparison between this function enabled and not enabled. The fifth upgrade is occlusion adjustment options. In scan settings, there is an automatic byte optimization option here and this function enables the software to automatically opt optimize occlusion of the scan jaws. However, if we don't want this automatic optimization for the occlusion, we can always cancel this function manually on the occlusion adjustment interface of each project. As you can see here. And the sixth upgrade feature is place dies from both upper and the lower jaw into one multi-die fixture. It allows users to place dies from both upper and lower jaw into one multi-die fixture. If the total number of the dies is less than eight, 
Here is a short video as well. It chews two different teeth from both upper and lower jaw respectively. And the software will uh, show two different die scan steps here if this function is not enabled. After enabling this function, these two dies will be merged into one, and we can place dies from both upper and the lower jaw into one multi-die fixture. It is time saving. And the last update feature is hide unauthorized functions. Authorized function will be hidden. For example, the post and the core scan is not visible when the scanner is exproc. Here are two order creating interfaces. When the computer is connected to expro edge or mix, the post and core scan is shown on the interface here. And if, it's, if it is connected to the expro C, the post and core scan function will be hidden, as you can see here. That's all for today's dental salon. Thank you for watching.